99% of the planet's surface is covered by the oceans. However, because they are so challenging to investigate, scientists have learned more about space. This might be about to alter. Scientists are rushing to do in-depth research on marine life as overfishing and climate change wreak havoc on the oceans. We have some very coincidental news to share if you were wondering what was new with transparent robot fish when you woke up today. If you are watching our videos for the first time, subscribe to our channel to watch more interesting news and updates. In today's video, we are going to watch about the robotic fish, the future of underwater exploration. Acting more like fish, or at least making ourselves seem more like fish to other marine creatures, may be the best approach for humans to research the oceans. It is necessary to develop new ways of interacting with aquatic life, including biomimetic critters that can swim quickly and are outfitted with cameras and remote human control. In this work, a soft robotic fish that can swim in three dimensions and continually record the aquatic life it is following or interacting with is designed, built, controlled, and tested in the water. The design method for a robot that could function underwater and closely replicate the movements of fish was described in detail by the researchers on Wednesday in Science Robotics. This allowed the robot to roam amid marine life without startling it. The project's leader and co-author, Daniela Russ, head of the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory at MIT, told the LA Times, For us, this fish is miraculous. We hope that one day it will enable us to solve even more of the fascinating secrets of the aquatic world. The secrets of life seven miles below the surface of the deepest ocean in the world might be revealed by a self-powered robot that was inspired by a fish. The robotic fish will aid in the investigation of unexplored oceans because it moves its body and flaps its fins just like the genuine thing. The robot is the most sophisticated of its sort ever created, as described in the esteemed British journal Nature. It is based on the pink snailfish, which inhabits the Mariana Trench in the Western Pacific Ocean, an abyss that extends nearly seven miles below the surface. The idea is that the undersea creatures, many of which are still undiscovered, won't be alarmed since they will think it's just another fish. According to Southwest News Service, related study author Tifeng Lai of Zhejiang University states, in trials, the robot was found to operate satisfactorily there. Additionally, it was free to swim in the South China Sea up to two miles below the surface. The robot descended into the Mariana Trench while mounted on an underwater lift or lander. Its body and fins were captured on video by deep-sea cameras and LED lights in anti-pressure shells. The untethered device is approximately 9 inches long with an 11-inch wingspan and resembles a real snailfish in both size and color. An elastic frame and muscles are moved by lightweight activators. Its greatest speed in deep water is only a quarter of a mile per hour, but in shallower waters, it moves four times more quickly. The body features of snailfish served as the design's inspiration. A flexible silicone matrix contains the circuitry, which also includes a lithium-ion battery and a high-voltage amplifier, according to Professor Lai. Its low density is advantageous for deep-sea swimming, the portable high-voltage amplifier drives the two membrane-containing flapping fins. The water nearby and a power consumption resistor are linked to the amplifier's ground end. The world's deepest living fish is the strange-looking snailfish, a suction feeder that uses sensors on its head to find prey. Because it is so challenging to explore, Lee continues, the deep sea still represents the greatest unexplored region on Earth. Mechanical systems typically require rigid containers and pressure adjustment devices in order to function because of the extraordinarily high pressures in this environment. However, despite lacking hefty or bulky pressure-tolerant bodies, deep-sea animals like jellyfish still flourish there. Professor Lai's team created a deep-sea robot with onboard power, control, and the capacity to push itself through the water, drawing inspiration from the snailfish's anatomy According to him, the electronic components of this robot are decentralized and wrapped in a flexible silicone matrix, unlike certain swimming robots whose movement is dependent on stiff, heavy vessels. Field tests in the South China Sea and the Mariana Trench to a depth of 3,000, 
224 meters each proved the robot's exceptional pressure resistance and swimming performance. Developing a robot that works in an aquatic environment presented many difficulties. Robots often communicate with their controllers using radio waves, but these wavelengths only travel a few centimeters across water. The SoFi was instead controlled by a diver using a modified Super Nintendo controller from nearly 70 feet distant thanks to the MIT team's utilization of auditory signals to guide the robot. SoFi can swim straight, turn, or dive up or down because to its undulating tail and special capacity to control its own buoyancy. The team also created a special acoustic communication system, a Super Nintendo controller that was waterproof, and other tools to control Sophie's movement and direction. According to Robert Katzman, a roboticist at MIT and the paper's lead author, acoustic impulses in water can go farther and use less energy. This eliminates the need to keep Sophie attached to boats or other vehicles and enables Sophie to move freely across the water. The robot has two hollow chambers in which water and air are pumped through to simulate the propulsive tail action of fish. We were thrilled to discover that our fish could coexist in the water with actual fish and did not flee. When a human diver approaches, this is very different. Russ told The Verge, a Linux PC and a fisheye camera are housed in watertight compartments in the robotic fish's body, which is made of reasonably priced 3D printed components. Sophie has a cylinder that compresses and depresses air to simulate the swim bladders of actual fish in order to let the robot float in the water at various depths and variable pressure levels. In addition, a lot of the airtight storage spaces are stocked with oil, enabling Sophie to function in depths of up to 60 feet. Researchers have modeled tuna, jellyfish, and lobsters as well as created flexible robots to improve aquatic robots. However, they have never imitated a species that is so far away or mysterious and has the ability to travel farther than any other. The robot's exceptional swimming abilities were further demonstrated in a series of studies in a pressure chamber and a deep lake in addition to the deep sea field tests. Future research will concentrate on creating new architectures and materials to improve the intelligence, adaptability, maneuverability, and effectiveness of soft robots and devices, according to Lai. Robot specialists, the achievement was hailed as amazing by Professor Cecilia Lasfi of the National University of Singapore and Dr. Marcelo Callisti of the University of Lincoln in England. It establishes the groundwork for later generations of deep-sea researchers to acquire delicate specimens without harming them by securely navigating coral reefs or underwater caverns with soft robots. According to the robotic specialists, swarms of underwater soft robots, with the ability to crawl on the seabed, anchor themselves on particular structures, or swim through specific locations, could help to the development of technology for numerous other uses. These could involve keeping an eye on the ocean, cleaning up and stopping pollution in the water, or protecting marine species. Fundamentally, they might aid scientists in their exploration of the vast, unknown oceanic depths. They add that they also intend to construct more sophists, so that biologists may examine how fish react to various environmental changes, and that they will soon employ the onboard camera to enable SOFE to autonomously follow actual fish. Future iterations of robotic fishes will also enhance the fish's ability to swim in sea.